Welcome my creative friends. This over here is ASUS ProArt B550 Creator Motherboard and this is ASUS X570 ProArt Creator Motherboard. So the thing is, the X570 motherboard is about 100 pounds, dollars, something like that, more expensive than the B550 version. But the question for me is, and maybe for you is, is it worth the money over the B550 and should you get the B550 instead of the X570? Like, which one is the most bang for buck? Both of them create as motherboards. Well, let's compare them two and then figure out which one is the right one for you. By the way, I've got in-depth videos of like both of these motherboards on the channel. So if you want to check them out, feel free to check them out. And also the links for these are in the description below. The main thing for you to understand and keep in mind while we're doing this is that keep the price difference in mind. This X570 version on the right over here is £100, dollars, something like that, more expensive than that one. I've, I've checked the prices like different times and whenever the price difference, whatever it was, I can see it being like about 100 difference. So the similarities for these boards are that they're very similar design, that's the same. We have AM4 socket for the Ryzen processors, four DIMM slots for up to 128 gigabytes of RAM, the same power connectors, and both of them have two Thunderbolt 4 parts on these boards. So let's have a look at these uh, differences. Now I'm gonna put the base model as the X570 over here and then the B550 is like the comparison. One of the main difference that you're gonna see straight away from this is that the X570 version has three M.2 slots. So there's two underneath he this heatsink and then one on the top over here and both of these are PCI or all of them are PCI 4.0 capable. Whereas on the B550 we have one PCI 4.0 drive and then one PCI 3.0 M.2 slot. So big win here on the X570. Another thing you might see is that both of these boards have the same amount of PCIe slots over here like the by 16 slots. Like two on the top over there for like reinforced metal as well for your two graphics cards and then one on the bottom over here. And then on the B550 we have actually two more extra uh, buy one PCIe slots over here for your like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth or 10 gigabit LAN or something like that which the X570 doesn't have but it doesn't necessarily need them you'll see in a moment. Before we're gonna flip the motherboards over and check the IO let's have a look at some of the other differences in terms of connectors over here. Both of these have front panel USB-C connector whereas the X570 front USB-C connector is 10 gigabits in bandwidth rated whereas on the B550 it's only five. On the X570 we have six SATA ports whereas on the B550 we have only four SATA ports. In terms of the PWM fan connectors or pump headers we have the same amount on both of these boards which is seven but the X570S has one extra connector over here on the bottom which is the water pump plus connector which is three amper rated a bit more powerful pump and it can actually support a little bit more powerful pump than the B550. So if someone's doing water cooling or something like that, this water pump port over here might be essential for you. So three amperes and 36 watts rated. Now let's move on to the back IO of both of these motherboards. First thing that I just noticed right now is that the PCB of the X570 is actually a little bit thinner than the B550 one. The B550 board feels a bit more rigid than the X570 board, just like a weird thing I just noticed. But looking on the back of this X570 board, we have Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.0, you know, antennas, which we don't have on the B550 board. Then the similar thing for both of these boards is that you've got like your 5-point audio and four USB ports that are 10 gigabits rated in speed, which are these turquoise ports. So these are all 10 gigabits in speed and type A ports. And then on the X570 board, we also have these blue USB ports, which are five gigabits in rated speed. Whereas on the B550 board, we have only two USB 2.0 ports on the top over there, which are 10 times slower than these blue ports, which are five gigabits in speed. Both of them have the same HDMI out and DP in ports. And the X570 board over here has 2.5G and 10 gigabit LAN ports. Whereas on the B550, both of the LAN ports are 2.5 gigabits rated speed, which is a massive, massive thing for this X570 board. Now looking on the back, you can actually see that there's something that the B550 has that the X570 doesn't have. It has SPDIF out, which is optical output for the audio, which the X570 
doesn't have. And also it has this PS2 connector for some of the older keyboards and mice or something like that. So if this port is necessary for you, obviously it doesn't have that on the X570 board. And then the USB-C ports, both of these are exactly the same. Thunderbolt 4, compatible, rated, up to two 4K displays or one 8K display can be actually come out from these as well. So video signal and data transfer comes out from there. Okay, differences aside, let's have a look at how much do these differences actually cost. So one of the main differences is obviously one more M.2 slot and faster slot. We have the Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth antennas over here, as well as the 10 gigabit ports inside. So let's say three differences. How much do these differences cost? You know, if we bought them separately, let's say you buy this B550 board and you want to add those later, how much is this going to cost you? So the Wi-Fi antennas, Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5, they cost about 50 quid or a little bit more. Then the 10 gigabit LAN port that's inside this X570S, that costs another 100. So we are at 150. And the extra M.2 slot over here, I'm not sure how much that will, you know, cost you, but let's add extra like 20 or something like that on there. So we are about 170 pounds more expensive ports so or 175 pounds worth of more stuff on the X570 board than the B550. Now, when we go minus those actual prices right now, you can see that actually the X570 seems to be the more bang for buck for your money. Just because if you buy the B550, you're later on gonna pay much more than extra $100. As you can see, you're gonna be extra 170. So it could be like up to 70% more expensive when we just look at the, the upgrade path for both of these boards. You know, 100 to 170, if that makes sense. So if you're asking me, which one should I be getting? then my advice for you is if you're looking for a build like right now and you're not really thinking about upgrade path and you're not interested really like upgrading it and you're thinking, do you know what? I'm going to upgrade like everything in a few years time. Then I would go with the B550 board. Like if you don't need anything extra that you're going to upgrade, go with the B550 board because you're going to get your everything's gonna run exactly the same. Maybe you're gonna run out of M.2 storage. If you need a bit more of that, you can buy an extra card of that or something like that. But if you're thinking a little bit of an upgrade path, or if you're thinking about, you know what, I'm gonna expand my business, I'm gonna get a NAS in a little bit of a time, and I'm gonna get a better router, I'm gonna use the Wi-Fi 6E, I need the Bluetooth actually. And if you need all those features, then the X570 makes a ton of sense because it just packs a lot of features that actually in the end work out cheaper for you, which is fantastic and I love it a lot. So the Big Brother X570 seems like a more expensive bot, but it makes a ton of sense. So hopefully this helped you to decide which one is the right one for you. Thanks guys for watching. Likes if you enjoyed this video, subs if you like to see more, and I'm gonna leave those bots in the description below. See you next time, bye bye.